Hey, what's up everybody? James here. Welcome back to Good Dude TV. Today, I'm going to be replacing a 24-hour mechanical time switch. I have a pool pump here at the house that stopped running, and I think that's going to be the problem. I'm going to replace it with a new one, see if that solves the problem, and I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Hopefully you learned something, so sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy. First things first, you want to make sure all your power is off. So you want to find your, uh, your breaker panel and make sure all the breakers are turned off. happens to be right here. So now that all the power is off, I'm going to open it up, and this is what we're looking at here. All the connections come in down here, there's this uh, protective sleeve and a screw that holds it on, going to undo that. Set that aside. This kind of swivels it in and out. And you want to label your lines corresponding to what how it lays out for your schematic. There's two power lines and then there's two load lines, which means like in my instance would be the pool pump. So I have them labeled and I'm ready to disconnect them. So now that I got all the lines disconnected, oh, still got the ground wire. Hold on real quick. Okay. So now we are all disconnected power wise. Throw this screw back in there real quick. I don't gotta hang on to it. Alright, there's gonna be a little tab that's right underneath here. You're gonna lift up, and this whole timer assembly is gonna kind of just wiggle itself on out of there. Just like that. And there's that piece that's out. Now that that's removed, we gotta get this uh, box taken off the wall pretty much. So 
So there's this little threaded piece. You want to disconnect that, unscrew that, get that out of your way. Try not to mess up your labels. And then there's going to be three Phillips screws. Two there, one here. You just want to disconnect those, unscrew those. Those two screws out the way. There we go. Pull your cables out. Make sure you don't mess up your labels. Or the wires. There you go. That's free. Now you got a souvenir lunchbox with a hole in it. Here's the new one. This is everything you get in the box. Oh, well, I got a new lunchbox. So there's the new lunchbox. We got the instructions. Some more instructions. So open this back up. We got all kinds of new goodies. You're gonna have to figure out a uh, which entry point into this box you're gonna be using either from the bottom or the side or this side. You're gonna have to punch it out. Got a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. See what happens. Just like that. the new box here and we're just gonna basically redo what we just undid so we're gonna feed our wires through the hole we're gonna get our box up and secure there Make sure everything just lines up nice and snug the way it should. Basically reusing all the holes that were already there. I'm gonna get these uh, just 
tree done a little bit, not tightened all the way down yet. So the box is mounted to the wall. We're gonna get our ring, get that mounted to the conduit. So, there we go. Now that that's done, we can come through and tighten our screws down. Too snug, just tighten them, tighten them up. Don't break your break your hand. All right, now that that's secured to the wall, we got the conduit hooked back in there, supported. Screws are back in there. We're gonna throw our timer back in there. This is the new one. do first is we're gonna take the screw out right here so we have access to where we're gonna be putting the wires at this is gonna sit right in there it's got like little grooves of where it sits and it just pops right back in there just like that okay and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna match our wires back up you always ground yourself first so we're gonna do that now nice and snug so I'm just gonna connect these back together now go through and unscrew these just enough to get the wire in the connection Turn the power back on, and you always want to start with your main breaker first. First, we're going to check the dish, and that was on. So, now that that's all done, I have two things left to do. Just gonna turn this power on. 
Then turn this power on and it should work. Shit. Gonna have to call the professionals. Thank <laughs> you.